The nation's steelmakers have been a target of almost 100 import restriction measures since 1991. Amid the current climate of trade protectionism, the industry has been hit with six restrictive measures already this year. Wang jong Hwan has the full story. South Korea's steel industry has long been the target of global trade protectionist measures. Data released by the local steel industry and the Korea International Trade Association shows that since 1991, Korean steel products have been hit with 95 cases of anti-dumping duties, countervailing duties and import safeguards. Restrictions on steel imports accounted for nearly half of the import restrictions for all South Korean exports. Those restrictions have come from 18 countries and from the EU trading bloc. But 28 of those 95 restrictions have come from the United States. And this year alone, the US, Canada, EU and Turkey have placed six new restrictive measures on Korean steel products. According to an expert, trade protectionism in the steel sector is due to the difficulty countries have restructuring the industry. To uh, restructure uh, the uh, industrial sector, it takes a long time and it also requires huge investment. So uh, the, one of the easiest way for the government is to take the protectionistic uh, import policy on imported uh, steel products. He added that the excess supply from newly emerging steel producers like China has also led to protectionist policies. Some countries like China, they have uh, the competitive advantages in the price, so they may be invested in a huge amount of money in the uh, in two sector, uh, which resulted in the oversupply of product, uh, these two products in the global market. With the revision of the South Korea-U.S. trade deal in March, South Korea's steel exports to the U.S. are restricted to the quota of about 2.68 million tons. And the six restrictions placed on Korean steel by other countries this year add to concerns among Korea's steel producers. Won Jong-an, Arirang News.